Okay. Okay, so it is day two of the transformation challenge. Um, the hypothesis is... Da -da 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 -da. That was a drum roll. <laughs> By imagining what success looks like and how I got to that imagined success, every morning for 75 days, I will increase my overall happiness make more money, and significantly decrease my debt. Okay, I have some thoughts already, but I only have done one day, so I will hold those thoughts uh, until the end. And I've only got about 15 minutes today, so um, let's see how it goes. Okay, so it is June 30th, and I'm really, really happy that it's June 30th. Uh, well, I say that, but what I mean is that I'm happy that I kind of found the sense of transformation um, over the last three months. And I'm really happy because I'm relaxed. Like I don't, I'm not worrying about anything. And um, I just like feel the sense of calm, like everything's handled. <clears throat> but of course the money's still rolling in. And um, I feel this sense of like, peace. I feel it. I'm like, I'm well rested. Um, I just got everything. It, it feels like, you know, everything might not be in a row, but I feel like everything's in a row, right? Um, like I, I'm okay with things not being in a row, I guess is what I'm saying. And, you know, my strawberry patch or my little strawberry thing grew and I got to eat some of those today. It was really nice and um, it was really nice to hang out with some of my friends over the last three months. I've had some like really transformational conversations and I'm really happy because I mean business has really taken off and I filled my workshop, my Feeling Salty workshop. I filled my group program or not my group program, my three hour event and um, I mean, I couldn't even believe that so many people were so, so excited to come to Feeling Salty. It was amazing. And um, all I had, you know, all I did was made a few phone calls. All I, all I did was, you know, of course I did some emails and things, but I mean, all I did was call a few people up and say, hey, you know what? I really think you would enjoy this. And it's because I really do think they would enjoy it. Or I did. And um it was that like one-on-one -on -one connection that made things work out and um it was great and the workshop itself went fabulous I mean completely filled to the brim of with amazing women who you know wanted to make a, a difference in their lives and help other women as well other people as well have an impact on the world and that was really really exciting you know to get a group of women in one room that ha want to have an impact on the world, a positive impact on the world, was, I mean, so rewarding. Not only did their positive energy, you know, feed back into me, but mine fed back into them, and it was a cycle. It was a, a genuine connection type thing. And um, philly.com and visit philly, um, you wish you knew, you know, all of those sites, they listed my event on their site, and I got a ton of uh, registration uh, registrations from them, which was really great. And it's so funny that, you know, I was so excited that I started this experiment because I would have never thought to list my event on that site had I not done it. And um, this whole challenge has turned my life around. I mean, it's made me realize that if you start your day off in a positive mindset, in a mindset of abundance, then everything will flow, everything will come. And I'm also really excited because some of my pieces that I listed on workingwonders.com, some of my artwork sold like the larger pieces, not just like the tiny little like $300 pieces. No, I'm talking about like the $1,000 and up pieces. They sold um, almost immediately once it went live. Um, there was a need for it. There was a need to have this like serenity and peace and um beauty in their life, the people who bought it. And they were, you know, some of them even emailed me and said like, oh my gosh, your, your piece has made such a difference in my day to day. It just makes me come back to the present moment. It makes me happy. And um, that makes me really excited. That makes me really happy that my work started a conversation about coming back to the present moment, started a conversation about self-improvement, self-help, 
self uh, love, you know, all of that. And um, it was, it was really, it's really great to feel like you've got an impact on, like you've had an impact on someone's life, life. And um, my June workshop, it went fabulous from feeling salty. I, I sold a lot of tickets into my June workshop and um, it was completely transformational. I mean, we were doing like really hands-on things and we even um, spent some time just being around each other, creating and, and letting ourselves play because that, you know, that doing that made such a difference. It was so transformative, transformative in everyone's life that went Um, just sitting in, you know, in silence with other people creating, other people playing, and maybe not even in silence, because I def- there definitely was like some laughter, uh, some like snickering, like some whispering, and um, um, but holding space for just being creative, however the hell you want to be creative, um, was really really amazing, and um, made us a lot of us realize um, that we just have to hold space for ourselves. We just have to provide the opportunity to be who we want to be, to get a little creative, be that like little, you know, crazy child. And it was really fabulous. And, um, yeah, I'm just feeling a, a great sense of peace right now, um, with where I'm at in life. And, you know, I know that the money is going to come and I know that I'm making a difference. And I know that my studio practice is so important and I'm making, like I'm making very regularly and it's, it's really, really great. And it's balanced really well with everything else I'm doing. I mean, because in my head, and it always was in my head this way, is that my studio practice and my uh, business, my, you know, social practice are basically the same thing. They all come from the same place of empowering women. And I'm one of those women, you know, my art, might be inward facing when I'm creating it. Um, and that's where the business comes in, where I can make a difference outward facing. Um, I got the new Cortland fellowship, which was really exciting. Um, really excited to see what that's going to look like once I do it. Um, I, I, they, I mean, they really loved the idea. They never thought that coming back to the breath would be an artistic statement, would be an artistic practice. And, they're really excited that I'm going to be running the drawing and breathing workshop and doing a little experiment with their people, you know, with their seniors. And, um, so I'm really, really excited. I'm really excited to have an an impact again. I mean, it's all about making a difference for me and it's all about, um, feeling fulfilled as well, you know, feeling at peace with where I'm at. And also, you know, the whole thing that I always tell everybody, I've been telling it from the beginning of time, even when I wasn't doing it, is listen to the freaking flight flight attendant. Put the oxygen mask on yourself before you put it on your neighbor. And that's what I've done. I put the oxygen mask on myself before I put it on my neighbor because you can't pour from an empty glass. And that's why I I think I'm where I'm at is I made sure that I was healthy and happy so that I could show others how to be healthy and happy. So I could empower them to be the person that they need to be, that they should be, that they could be. Um, and so that's been really transformational for me. And, um, yeah, I, I really, I filled that workshop. I filled feeling salty because, um, because I actually did the stuff that I learned on the first day of this transformation challenge, which is like, I went and listed it on all these sites and I did all of these individual calls with people like, Hey, how are you? Like, what's life like? Like, how is it going? Like, can I, I would love to hear about the opportunities that you have. And, um, it was so fun doing that, by the way, like just calling people up and being like, Hey, how's it been? Like, I thought of you and it was an amazing, genuine connection. And, um, and just asking them and inviting them say, Hey, I'd love for you to come. You should totally come. You should totally bring some people. It'll be so much fun. It can be like a girl's night. It can be like a date night. It could be anything. Um, and everybody was totally down. And I mean, I was doing that 
I did those individual calls. I did, you know, the email marketing that I had to do. And I wrote a press release at the last minute. It was crazy. I wrote a press release like six days before the event and, um, or I like filled in, you know, all the information like six days before the event. And, um, (laughs) and they, they got listed on all the sites and, and it was filled like that. And, you know, I, what else did I do? I, Oh, I emailed and I emailed all of my colleagues that, you know, I thought would be interested. I emailed everyone who clicked on my webinar link. <laughs> um, gosh, those people are like, for the for the people who clicked, like, those are the people that are ready. You, you know, like, there's something there. And that's the person I want to connect with. Those are the people that I want to genuinely connect with and understand where they are, where they are and tell them, let them know that they like already are, are like are already the person that they want to be. And, um, well, I already did that and it was really, really great. And I followed up with like all of the, um, people, I put my videos on my blog, um, to, you know, gather awareness about feeling salty and it was, it was really great and it was really transformative. And guess what though? Like, let's just talk for a second about how much fun it was to just like play in salt and to like have a quirky, fun time while also like transforming our lives like I cannot wait to do this workshop again like there's no way I'm not going to do it it's so much fun and oh my gosh you didn't get to see the the gifts that that I gave out at this event the gifts that I gave out they were uh they were so cute okay I'm just like cute they were really really cool and I'm really really excited I I mean I'm excited that I was able to give them away and I'm excited that um I got someone to sponsor I got a business to sponsor the event um uh, with a gift in kind and they gave essential oils, you know, samples to every participant. It was amazing. Everybody loved it. Everybody left like feeling really, not only did they have like a transformational experience, but they got to leave with something. They got to leave with a little reminder to just breathe a little reminder that like, take care of yourself, like empower yourself to be the person you want to be. It was great. It was like super fabulous. And I did those Facebook live videos and I got people to purchase tickets from there. And, um, but yeah, it, it was really, really great. And I think the key takeaway from like the last three months is that I really put the oxygen mask on myself before I put it on my neighbor. I fed my soul so that I could help someone else feed theirs. And that is, you know, I'm so thankful I made the decision to do that. The decision to take care of myself first so that I could really pour the glass from a full cup and not an empty one. Okay. 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 I'm back in the present moment. Back in the present moment. Okay, I think that this challenge will be challenging. Of course, that's why it's a challenge, right? Um, and I've got to run. But um, when you're tired, like I'm feeling so tired today. Um, when you're tired or like you're low energy, it's um, it's harder to get the energy up. But I'm definitely in a better place like that I was when I first sat down. And I know what I need to do. This challenge is slightly overwhelming, but... In the sense that like yesterday I got really into it and I figured out everything that I needed to do, like all the to-do list items to be successful, to be in that place of success in three months. But then day two comes around. I'm like, I didn't finish any of the two to-do list items that I said I was going to finish or that, you know, I need to finish before I can find success. Like, like any success, like, um, that I listed yesterday and that was overwhelming. And, but I did take And I think where I did did make myself feel better, I did imagine success was that I realized, oh, it's not all about the hustle. It's all about, you know, today, my visualization, my ideal future is taking care of myself, is genuinely connecting with people. And um, so it should be interesting. I think like having the different perspective of each mood will make this a full circle transformation. Like it's not just about the business. It is about me. So what is my fantasy each and every day and how does it change? And like, how does my mood affect it? That's really interesting. Shiza. So, um, needless to say, I guess that means I need to get a little more sleep and I need to start genuinely connecting with people and know that I am enough. And, um, and that people will come to me. Like if I vibrate up here, 
people will come, right? If I'm not if I'm not vibrating up there, if I'm vibrating down here, they won't come. So start connecting with people, start vibrating up here, start being genuinely myself and energized and excited about the future. Okay, all right, I gotta go because I'm gonna be late. All right, I'm really excited about this challenge. I think it's gonna really, it's gonna do something. It's gonna do something. <laughs> Oh, and if you do want to check out um, my Feeling Salty workshop, because I know I spent a lot of time talking about it, um, you can purchase your ticket at apopstudios.com slash feeling salty. So that's apopstudios.com slash feeling salty. Um, yeah, because I spent a really long time talking about it. And it's going to be really fun, so you should totally come. All right. Bye.